Hello and welcome to my ch 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 channel. Okay, so look, today I'm reviewing the established in 2007 foodies. It's vegan pumpful. Now I've already reviewed the regular pumpful that doesn't have any flavorings, and that's supposed to be like an alternative to tofu. Get it, tofu plumful. But this one, and on that one, I used it as like taco meat. You know, you might want to check out the review for that because that was interesting, especially what my roommate said. But this is a plant-based meat alternative to, I guess, sausage. And so, um, it has pumpkin seeds, filtered water, tapioca starch, apple cider vinegar, tomato paste, molasses, sunflower oil, spices, and sea salt. And so, when I opened it... It didn't have much of a smell, but I wasn't too crazy about the smell. But then as I cooked it, the smell was, personally, it was off-putting for me. Um, it's hard to describe why it was off-putting. It just had, like, it almost smelled like I was cooking ketchup, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just not crazy about it. I haven't had a lot of Italian sausage and in my life, in general, I haven't had a lot of sausage to begin with. So that may have something to do with it. Also, people have been requested for me to have a Patreon. I finally have that. So there'll be a link below the video to that. You can see the spices, though. And I will say, for a meat alternative, it looks pretty close. Um, and it's like kind of greasy too like you know like ground meat I just don't like the way it smells it's really close to meat I'm just not digging the flavors. I'm trying to... F Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. I feel so stupid. It's mildly seasoned. That is mild. There's not, it's not a lot of whole spices going on. Of Italian spot sausage. Perfect for pizza, bolognese sauce, lasagna, and much more. But it just has a... I'm trying to picture how that would be with some vegan mozzarella. Yeah. I think it would work. I think that's the problem is I was thinking like... Mmm. What is that? What a big old piece there. That didn't... Um. Okay. So... I'm trying to picture, I'm trying to picture, like, what would this taste like on, like, lasagna? Yeah, I think it would work. I think it would work. The problem with this whole situation is, is, I was thinking, because I've been reviewing chorizo, like, vegan chorizo, and I just reviewed a brand that's, like, really good, by the way. So, I'm thinking, like, breakfast sausage, chorizo, like, I'm thinking of other sausages, and I haven't had that many sausages in my life to begin with okay so however i did review i've have i've have can't even talk i have had the beyond meat italian sausage and it didn't taste like this it was a different taste so if you like the beyond meat italian sausage this flavor is nothing like it it was different it's very like tomatoey like a lot of tomatoes. Like ketchup. Um, and then I also reviewed another sausage crumble from, um, oh, they're out of Canada. And I believe, I could be wrong, but I believe that they were Italian based. Because the thing is, I make, um, oh yeah, it was. It was the Lynx. It was Italian sausage because I also reviewed the crumbles from that company from Canada. So yeah. Can compare this to the Beyond Meat and to the other company that I just reviewed from Canada as far as Italian sausage or Italian sausage is concerned. Um, 
I like the one from Canada better. And I also like Beyond Meat as well, but I like the one from Canada better. But this is like a totally different taste. Because I make a soup, Zupo Costana soup. I can't even pronounce it. It's a soup that you can get the Olive Garden, but I personally make it um, vegan and from scratch. I don't think this would go good in that. I really don't. Um, I mean, maybe there is an Italian sauce that has a lot of tomato in it. And maybe this tastes really similar. But again, I can't stress enough. I haven't had a lot of sausage in my life. Vegan or not, I just haven't had it. Um, I've never been a big time sausage person. I would... I don't think I would buy it again. Because I'm trying to... I mean, it might be good. Like I said, I don't think this would go good on pizza. I personally don't think so. But I'm trying to picture like a lasagna. And it would, it would probably go good on lasagna. I mean, I will say... The texture is like really meaty and the mouthfeel was like amazing and it's not salty at all. But there is just something about it. And I think it's the tomato. Like there's a lot of tomato in here. And again, I'm not, I'm not used to having sauces with a lot of tomatoes in it because again, I haven't had much sauces in my life. Ugh. Okay. So what do I give it a one out of 10? You know, I wish... I could compare this to an Italian sausage that's supposed to be made with tomatoes. Um, I don't like it. I'm not going to get it again. It doesn't have a horrible taste. It's just, to me, it's odd. You know, it's just like, this is sausage, but it tastes like someone put ketchup in it. A little bit better than that. And it's like, when I was cooking it, it was like I was cooking ketchup with like meat crumbles or whatever. Tofu crumbles, whatever, you know vegan crumbles so I'm gonna give this and I feel really bad because I really like this company I'm gonna give this like a 3.2 out of 10 until next time please comment like subscribe and let me know what other foods you want me to try but that's only to my subscribers <laughs> and then I'll also check out the patreon below my video if you um, want to support this channel until next time have an awesome day all right bye bye